Hello everyone, so today we will learn how you can create your first AWS account. So for that, you must go to your Google and search for AWS. Search, scroll down, click on this link. Link will be in the description. Here you will see the different options, complete sign up and sign in. Click on the sign in option and it will move to the next page. So simply click on this sign up or complete setup. Here you can see create a new account. Click on it. First, you have to provide your email ID. Then here you have to provide your new account name. So just provide the account name, click on the verify email address. You will get a confirmation code on your registered email address as you can see here. So you just need to write the verification code that you received over your email ID. So here you can see I received a AWS email verification code. Just click on it there will be a code. Copy that code and paste it. Yeah, right. Now verify. So here you have to set your root user password. So simply type user root user password and the confirmation click on the continue. Here you have to provide some different details like personal or uh, business account. So for the testing purpose, you can simply go with the personal. So click on the personal option. Now type your full name. Like I have put it, the full name over here. You can provide your full name. Then once you're done with that, go to your account, sorry, phone number. Here you have to select the India country code and provide the phone number. And the other details, like first you have to provide your phone number, then we will, then you have to choose your country. Here you will search India. Other detail, like uh, other your residential address and everything, you have to provide it here. So let me quickly edit everything over here. So once you are done with your all the details, click on the continue. Once it you hit on the continue button, it will redirect to redirect you to the next page that is for the billing page basically. Here you have to provide your paid or debit card details. So fill all the details like credit card or debit card number, month, expiry, CVV and everything. And it will move to the next page where they will deduct two rupees just for the verification purpose. So here I'm putting all the details, click on the continue option. Here you can, you have to select, do you have a pen? We can click on no at the moment. Now verify and continue. So click on it. It will charge you two rupees just for the verification purpose and you will receive the OTP on your registered mobile number. So kindly enter the OTP that you have received. So I will put the OTP that I have received. Once I put click on the submit, it will take some time and your request will be approved if everything is correct. So here, yeah, it has been done. Confirm your identity. Now you have to provide some different details. This is the username. You have to select that username that whatever you have provided. Here you can select the personal use and then we can move forward to the next next type that is the ownership. We can simply select the individual. Here we have to provide the PIN card number or the other identity pro, uh, like uh, verification details. If we go directly with the continue, it will not work. Like it won't work. It will simply ask us to provide the detail either the PIN card or other government identification details. So I'm just providing my PIN card details over here and then click on the continue. You see here the number you have provided. Now you will receive the OTP over here. So first select the country India, provide the number, fill the capture information that will be provided on your screen. And once you are done, click on the submit button. So I'm just putting my capture information over here quickly. Then you can simply hit on continue. Now you will get a verification code on your number. Simply put the verification code that you have received over here. And then click on the continue, like the next option. So I'm putting the verification code, hit continue. And it will redirect us to the new page. Here you will see the different option, basic support plan, developer plan, business plan. This is for the support role. So the this account is created under the free tier. So you can use some services at a certain amount. 
and this is simply the support plan so if you need any support then you have to pay some extra money to the aws for the basic purpose i'm go with continue with the basic one like i don't need any help at the moment and congratulations your first aws management account has been created okay so you i hope this process is smooth so now go to the aws management console click on it here you will see this option click on the sign into the console and now select the root user provide the email address in that you have used while creating the account you simply fill it here quickly click on next then you have to provide the password that you have set in the beginning of the session password and boom you will be redirected to the aws management console so this is your home page this is the aws management console home page and everything will be there we will shortly discuss everything here and uh, see what are the other options we have so i hope this tutorial you will learn how you can create your first aws account free account free tier account and if you face any problem please you can ask me in the comment section or directly you can reach out to us all the details will be in the description box and i hope this video help you to create and we will learn everything that or most of the things over here going forward thanks thanks for watching